What's up, everybody? Big Ox Triple Six here, the golf gamer. So check it out, man. I was scrolling on Twitter, mind my own business. Haven't been on Twitter in a couple of days and stuff. Maybe I, I I've been there, but I haven't like really been there and stuff. Actually saying stuff, hiding in the shadows and stuff. Seeing a bunch of fanboyism going on. People getting blocked on each side, which is kind of funny, but I still um, don't like this fanboyism. Retweeting a few things here and there. Seeing a girl take a selfie on top of her car while her car's sinking in a frozen river. When she gets saved, literally, literally she says, I guess I'm going to walk in. Oh, well. There's a video <laughs> out there. I retweeted. <laughs> You'll see the girl driving 50 miles, miles per hour, may, maybe a little bit less than that. But she was zooming. So it had to be about 50 or 45, 50 on a frozen river, which I would never understand. But whatever. <laughs> okay, people are idiots. Hold on a second. Let me take a sip of my orange juice. Got this for a dollar at my job. But anyways, the salt on the Sony fanboys. You think the Bethesda deal of Microsoft acquiring Bethesda was huge? Microsoft acquired Activision and Blizzard for $70 billion. $70 billion dollars the salt on the sony fanboys is freaking real they might have a mild stroke <laughs> on the bethesda deal but this is huge huge man activision owns a lot of stuff call of duty overwatch freaking diablo i forgot they even own candy crush and that that stuff makes freaking crap tons. I forgot to uh, I forgot to say um, Call of Duty, a uh, Vanguard, just for one day made five point fourteen million dollars just for one day. So everybody's saying, oh, Microsoft need to acquire the money money back. They need PlayStation. They gonna be all right. <laughs> they gonna be all right with all all these um, games. Warcraft, w wow. Which I don't I don't. Um, play and stuff because I don't believe in that 15 bucks a month paying for it. That's that's not me, you know, <laughs> especially for, for one game where I can have freaking crap tons. But the salt on a fanboys is real. This is why this is why you have multiple consoles Be because of, because of this. So so you won't miss any freaking exclusives. I, 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 I understand. Look, I understand that some people can't get you know, all the consoles and stuff like that. I understand it. But the fanboy is ridiculous. I find it funny. You won't see my black ass freaking, you know, saying, oh, oh, Xbox sucks because this, this, and this and stuff. You won't see me actually, you know, rant about one console and not, not the other. I prefer PlayStation, but I like all the consoles. I even got the Nintendo Switch OLED. I was playing some freaking indie game, Super Crush KL, which is an amazing game. Amazing indie game. You guys need to check that out. But anyways, the salt on a Sony fanboy is real. <laughs> it is real. Now, there's issues of Activision CEO Bobby Kotick. Apparently, after the ink dries of this acquisition, he will still be, well, before the ink dries, he will still be, as of now, he will still be the CEO of Activision. All right, let's be real. He ain't going to be there just like I say when this gets a gets actually a sealed deal. I say within a year because I think Bethesda Microsoft deal was about a year, if I'm not mistaken. But, um, yeah. But can you imagine that next Diablo, Diablo 4, comes out 
on Xbox exclusive, be an Xbox exclusive. Freaking Overwatch, just be an Xbox exclusive. I know people were saying the journalists, the fanboy fanboys, saying you know there might be a chance of Elder Scrolls being you know coming to PlayStation or la 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 Starfield might be coming to play. Which we already know those games are not coming. Um, but can you imagine Call of Duty? All the Call of Duty games, just Xbox, Xbox only. Can you imagine that? <laughs> That's insane, man. What type of what type of reality we living in right now that Microsoft freaking owns Activision, Activision and Blizzard. Huge freaking games, great used to be great IPs <laughs> before it went all to hell with the sexual allegation was the Blizzard and stuff. They used to they used to be great. So that's probably why that Microsoft just like we're gonna scoop in and take you up because we're gonna change everything in there. Um some people are actually mad about this because what if um Microsoft owns Capcom, Square Enix? How how okay. Let me let me backtrack here. We all know, we all know that. Microsoft really don't have their first party games. I know they, you could say, Big Ox, they had Halo and freaking uh, Forza, Forza Horizon 5. It's the, I think it's, is it Forza Horizon 5? Yeah, it's Forza Horizon 5 because it's, I play Forza Horizon 4 on Xbox Game Pass and stuff. Um, Xbox really don't have that first party exclusives, that first party bangers. I know you can say about Halo and Forza, but that was at the very end, at the end of the year. What they're most relying on, let's be real, on Xbox Game Pass. That's what's been saving their asses for, for a while. Let's just be real here, all right? I, if you don't have that many games of, you know, to pretty much, you know, third party, third party games for you to try out and stuff, if it wasn't for Xbox Game Pass, I would never knew about um, Blazing Chrome. I would never knew about what's that freaking medieval game I played. Crap, I forgot the forgot the name of it. I really forgot the name of. God damn it! Sorry, I'll, I'll probably type it in the in in the video and stuff. But yeah, that game I bought for the PS4 and stuff. Um, it was Blazing Chrome. No, Celeste was on Xbox Go, which I would never even try that. Try that game if it wasn't for freaking Xbox. Actually, it was game. It was like game game of the year nominee. So yeah, that's why I actually heard about that game. Then bam, it came from, came to Xbox after that. But yeah, they they Xbox Game Pass have been saving them for a while. Seriously, uh, my friend Pedro would never even try that game out. Um, Katana Zero was another um, Xbox Game Pass game, which we'll never even try it out. And that, that's an amazing game. That's a great freaking game. But yeah, Xbox Game Pass has been helping help Microsoft out. It really has. And on top of that, I didn't even mention about Sony's little Xbox PlayStation Game Pass. How about that? Um, Phil Spencer said it's a good thing, which... I don't know. I, pref I, me personally, I prefer to have my stuff physical. I, I, I am that type, type of guy to have that stuff physical and stuff. Um, how this affect me? It really doesn't. I'm gonna go with the games, right? <laughs> if it, doesn't, it doesn't matter if it's exclusive or not. If if I can play it on each console, I will play it on each console. It doesn't doesn't freaking matter with me one bit. I will I will play it eventually or or get to it. Um, what else I want to say? People are worried about Microsoft owning Capcom because they don't really make the own, you know, first party games. They buying, buying companies to make it for them. And that might be true, but what can you do, man? What, what, what can you do? Seriously. But that's about it. Also. If you haven't played 
off the subject here. If you haven't played the VR Paranormal Activity on PlayStation, oh my gosh, with the head with the headphones on, oh my gosh, man, there are so many jump scares. I talked about the um, horror adventure. I think my last video, which I don't recommend, it was a dollar forty nine, but Paranormal Activity: The Lost Soul was a great freaking. I'm still not done with it. I you 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 better off standing up. If you sit down, you won't enjoy it. You better off standing up and playing this game, which I really don't like standing up that much. But it's require you to stand up. <laughs> it's require you to stand up. It's a whole lot better. Trust me on this. All right. I already talked about the PSVR 2, if it's backwards compatible, which it probably won't be. If it was, I'll, I'll buy it as soon as possible, but that's whatever. But, um, yeah, play that Paramount Activity Lost Soul if you have the PSVR. Just saying. That's about it, guys. Um, rant's over. Well, not really a rant, just me talking my ass off. It's over. Hope you have, guys have a wonderful day. Sony fanboys, I'm sorry. You guys need to have multiple consoles. I don't know why y'all fighting this console war because these really company really these companies don't give a crap about you. They think of us as a dollar sign. They always have. They always will. Stay awesome. Wear a mask. Stay healthy. Watch out for burritos, and keep your public your trophies and achievements public, so you actually know you play games. Bye, guys. Have a good one.